Okay, this is going to be the BC Calculus sample questions 13 and 14. Um, problem number 13 here basically says they give you a function. Um, it's a piecewise defined function, ax squared plus 3ax plus 5 for x greater than or equal to 2. And then it's 4ax cubed minus 6ax squared plus 9 for x less than 2. They say find the values of a that makes f of x continuous for all real x. Okay, so one thing to notice is both of these functions are polynomials once we plug in a value for a. Polynomials are continuous everywhere. So the only place we might have a discontinuity is at 2. And remember for the function to be continuous at x equals 2, we just have to satisfy the limit as x equals 2 of our function f of x. That simply has to equal f of 2. Okay, we can compute f of 2 by plugging 2 into our um, the first part of our function. So we'll get a times 2 squared plus 3a times 2 plus 5. And if we simplify that down, um, let's see, what do we get? It looks like 4a um, plus 6a, which is 10a plus 5. Um, and then if we take... Um, so now, okay, so now we have to compute the limit part of it. So for the limit to exist, remember the left-hand limit has to equal the right-hand limit. Um, if we look at the limit from the left, okay, if we look at the limit from the left, we'll have to use the first part, or excuse me, the second part of our formula, the 4a x cubed minus 6a x squared plus 9. And again, if we look at the limit as x approaches... Um, 2 from the right. We're just going to be looking at the first piece, the ax squared. Whoops, ax squared plus 3ax plus 5. And we've really already computed this second limit. Um, that's where we get our 10a plus 5. Well, likewise, we can simply plug 2 into our, um, our formula here on the left. So we'll get 2 cubed, which is 8. Um, 8 times 4 would be 32a minus, if we plug in 2, we'll get 2 squared or 4 times 6, which is 24a. We have our plus 9 hanging out. So now simply all we have to do is just solve this equation for a, and we'll have our solutions, or solution, I should say. Okay, so um, 32 minus 24, that's just going to give us 8a plus 9, that equals 10a plus 5. Um, let's see, we can subtract 5 from both sides, subtract 8a from both sides, divide by 2. To me, it looks like we're going to get the value a equals 2, okay, to make our function continuous everywhere. So again, all you're using is the definition of continuity. The left-hand limit has to equal the right-hand limit, um, is the basic idea in that problem. All right, so number 14, um, here it says we have to integrate the function x sine of 2x dx. Okay, so probably to do this one, um, I think this just to me looks like an integration by parts problem. So remember the integration by parts formula. It says the integral of u dv, that equals uv minus the integral of v du. So I'm just going to use that on this problem here. <clears throat> I'm going to pick u to equal x, which means I'm going to pick dv to be sine of 2x dx. Well, if I take the derivative of u, I'll just simply get 1 dx. The antiderivative of sine is negative cosine of 2x. And then we have to divide by the coefficient on the x. Okay, so we'll get negative cosine of 2x over 2. And again, you can integrate this just by using a u substitution off to the side. Okay, so it says when we plug this in, it says we'll simply get u times v. So x times negative cosine of 2x, all divided by 2, minus the integral of v du. Well, du is just dx. If we plug in v, I'm going to pull the negative out front and make it a positive. And then basically, again, we're just integrating cosine of 2x divided by 2. So now we're almost there. Um, I'm going to write this as negative x cosine of 2x 
over 2 for the first part. Um, I can pull the 1 half out front. If you integrate cosine of 2x, we'll get sine of 2x over 2 plus c. And I think the last thing they do looking at their solutions, the only thing they really basically do is just multiply the 1 half and the 1 half um, and they pull that out front. So they write this last part simply as 1 fourth sine of 2x. Okay, and now we have our antiderivative, so just an integration by parts problem. So, all right, feel free to post comments and questions if you have any, and once again, I hope this helps out there.